In a world where every old franchise is getting the 4K facelift, and nostalgia might as well be its own genre, get ready for Capcom to take it even farther than they have before, as they continue to sell you the Resident Evil franchise all over again. Resident Evil 3 Remake Dive into Raccoon City once again, as Star's agent and sandwich Jill Valentine. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. With a completely new look and brand new tune. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Gets her ass beat by everyone's favorite Frankenstein nemesis all over again. In a gritty remaster that looks like a million bucks, but also extremely streamlines the experience. With a heavier emphasis on gunplay, practically no puzzles, and completely cut content, making it feel hollow in a way that's extremely appropriate for the remake of Resident Evil 3, especially when you realize the entire game is like six hours long. But don't worry, there's always the free multiplayer game you didn't ask for to make up for the rest of that $60 purchase. What, you wanna just buy the game for $30? This is a main state title, you rube, you absolute fool. What do you think this is, Lost Planet? scavenge through the ruins of the most unlucky video game city in existence, aside from maybe Silent Hill, as Capcom reimagines the pixelated architecture of the original PlayStation into a grand photorealistic cityscape that you will barely get to explore before it throws you into sewers, labs, a hospital, and some sort of meat maze, where each new level is a visually stunning set piece that's as interesting to explore as the line at the DMV with maps that are less about finding your way through an open world and more like a pretty looking scavenger hunt for ammo that passes the time until the next room full of mutants to explode. And if you think there's nothing wrong with that, then clearly you're one of the ones that liked RE6. Look, not everyone is going to understand how great it is to frantically crawl on the ground shooting zombies in the dick. Not everyone can be as cultured like we are blast several gaping holes into the action of RE3, as you double-tap anything with the semblance of a human silhouette, in gameplay that's almost identical to the RE2 remake, but with an awkward dodge mechanic taped on, where you'll mostly miss the timing to get chomped on by monsters, and get caught in a 30-second animation of watching your character get pulverized in 20 different ways. Ah, I think I need to gargle some bleach. Not that you'll need to dodge most of the time, because the game practically drowns you in supplies, letting you pump, blow, and explode anything that comes within a millimeter of you. Then switch to the fluffy-haired Commando Carlos and get even shootier, as they throw the survival aspect out completely and plop in a horde mode sequence for good measure, making the basic zombies feel about as threatening as targeting range dummies forcing them to give everything one-shot kill attacks so you don't just sleepwalk through the entire game. The gunplay feels like it's taking just as many cues from the RE movies this time. Yep, this is basically every fight in the game. Encounter the creme de la creme of RE3, the nemesis. Bitch can't even swim as Capcom wastes no time having their iconic antagonist Kool-Aid guy through the wall. Oh yeah, here comes Kool-Aid, here comes Kool-Aid, gonna save the day. This time sporting a variety of fierce new looks and a nose that can only be described as upsetting, who will chase you around the map, sometimes teleporting right in front of you to clothesline you into the ground, and who creates fun special zombies that look like Las Plagas mutated into a minion for some extremely tense gameplay that becomes pretty short-lived when you realize he gives up extremely easily whenever the plot thinks it's convenient in a device that brings a real cinematic edge to the game that it could have used a whole lot more of as the iconic relentlessness he's known for devolves into a series of boss fights that are the best fights in the game if you don't take him out with like three grenades right away. So get those thighs ready and dodge into RE3 Remake today.
for a rootin', shootin' good time with a light Resident Evil aftertaste that's about as long as two Marvel movies. And in a world of 100-hour games, maybe a nice tight zombie romp might just be the thing you're looking for. And if that isn't enough, you could always still play Resistance. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nobody plays the RE multiplayers. Starring the master of unlocking, Gritty Reboot Big Bird, Will Sasso, Bill Overbeck, the black guy that doesn't die in the horror. Oh, never mind. Hey, Nikolai, it's your cousin. Why don't you take me bowling? And Parasite Steve, Resident Evil 3. Reshoot. Maybe this remake is so short because they were busy working on the new RE4 remake. Why are they remaking for? Money. Would I pay to watch Leon kill a zombie with an egg in high def? <laughs> Absolutely! Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. Double kill, triple kill, headshot, King Slayer. Hibbity dibbity, now that's some diddly. It takes a hundred thousand ants to make a decent sandwich, but I'm having trouble with just one. Father, is that you? Unknown to death, nor known to life. 